Hi everybody from hdblog.it Today we want to show you the new Cyanogen ROM for the Desire HD the last uh, HTC uh, Android device and this is a beta ROM, the first beta for the Desire HD and uh, this is a very cool ROM because you don't have a sense interface but you have the Froyo stock and so uh, you have all the uh, standard future uh, of Froyo 2.2 and this is the last Froyo update and you can um, have all the uh, Cyanogen um, mode and all the Cyanogen application that you can find in the Cyanogen ROM. As you can see uh, now uh, you have the um, home screen and we have already uh, put some application like fancy widgets uh, and other app uh, and uh, we have uh, five different home page you can also have the pinch to zoom capability the launcher is the uh, ADW launcher and, and as you can see you can um, customize all the uh, interface you can uh, set uh, the drawer the previous the system preference uh, all the ui settings and um, all the uh, interface uh, and also the um, number of home screen and as you can see you can set the default screen you can erase the page and something like this you can also surf on the menu like uh, galaxy s style with horizontal view and you can also do folder with uh, your preferred application like uh, this we have done uh, internet folder with all the uh, internet application as you can see internet folder and this is all the application you can go into the cyanogen mode settings and here you can find all the um, settings interface for this ROM you can set uh, the application the input method all the notification you can uh, manage the performance and also the sound settings for all the notification ringtones and so on you can also modify the user interface and for example um, you can select uh, a different color of the screen uh, you can change the um, status bar with the uh, battery uh, per, uh, as you can see if i uh, flag this I can see the number of the battery, uh, the clock, you can also uh, change all the color of the notification and all the color of the interface. For example, uh, we um, customize the clock and the date. As you can see, now the clock is uh, um, this, uh, this has the same color as, as the date in uh, Cyanogen mode style. And as you can see in the notification area, you can find all the uh, toggle for the uh, wireless settings, audio settings to lock the um, landscape mode and to turn on, turn off the uh, data uh, settings. Uh, as you can see, this is the first boot of the ROM, and on the first boot, we have more than uh, 400 megabytes free uh, with some application if i kill all i have uh, about uh, 454 megabytes of free run and as you can see all the uh, software is very very smooth very fast you can launch all the application uh, very easy and very fast as you can see all the uh, android for your capability works like multi-touch in the maps you can launch the uh, marketplace and you have all, obviously all the um, um, functionality of the market you can download and install application 
uh, Gmail and for example uh, we install Wardrobe app and I can launch an application from here easily and this is the navigation panel for the car and you can customize this panel for um, use the phone in your car exit from this uh, we can for example launch the um, internet browser go in our blog android.htblog.it and as you can see uh, all the um, software works very well and now we are in the uh, mobile version switch on the desktop view um, you can obviously uh, rotate the interface in landscape mode uh, you can surf on internet in landscape or in portrait and as you can see all the uh, software works well and also internet is very good you can pinch to zoom and as you can see the text fixed the screen so you can uh, rearrange the, uh, the text uh, for the pinch to zoom as you can see obviously you have also the multi-touch uh, the mm, double touch capability and also the home screen can turn landscape mode so you can uh, use your phone in landscape easily as you can see all the software is smooth come back to portrait and uh, now this is the fancy widget we uh, we try to open several applications to see uh, um, the RAM and how fast is the ROM and the uh, difference between this ROM and the Sense ROM uh, is that uh, in the Sense interface uh, you have uh, during uh, usage you have about uh, 115 uh, megabyte free 150, 115 about megabyte free of RAM uh, with this ROM you can use all the software, all the application, for example Twitter or Facebook or what we want and uh, for example now we have uh, a lot of free RAM for example we check with the uh, widget and we have more than 300 megabyte free, 317 megabyte free of RAM and uh, we have tried to um, launch uh, all the application but uh, it's very difficult to go under 250 megabytes of free RAM as you can see you have the uh, standard um, uh, dialer for Android for iOS 2.2 obviously uh, if you go into the about phone and info you can see Android version 2.2.1, kernel, uh, mod version Cyanogen say uh, 6.1, RH1, and the build number. And it's very cool this Lancer because you can resize, uh, oops, sorry, you can resize your um, widget. For example, if this is too bigger, you can resize, as you can see. Uh, maybe you like this size and uh, now it's little than earlier and you can for example put this widget here and have a different layout resides with the default size and there is also a very cool feature uh, with uh, the widget because uh, for example the contact widget has three different wi widgets but is not all in this um, menu sorry but uh, uh, is under a new menu and as you can see you can uh, choose from here the uh, different widget uh, and another very cool feature is the um, where is power control and you can set different um, toggle in the uh, power control and also you can set a different background but uh, very cool is the uh, vertical layout and as you can see you can 
put the widget in vertical mode you can oops sorry resize the widget as you want for example this size and you have the widget in vertical mode it's very cool because for example here I set in vertical and I have all my preference up uh, preferent application and my um, contact here quadrant application and uh, run a full benchmark uh, the benchmark uh, go around uh, 1900 uh, in all the uh, situation and now we can see and it's uh, a good uh, result because you have a very uh, good um, performance and a very good um, and you have a very fast ROM here uh, we think it's uh, faster then the sense interface is uh, obviously um, lighter than the sense interface but uh, you can um, have more RAM, free RAM and the um, uh, RAM is better uh, used uh, for this ROM than the uh, sense interface as you can see we have 1982 points the last uh, thing we show you and uh, if you press down the search button you can uh, choose to write a new message easily or for example uh, you can voice search uh, and uh, if you install uh, we have installed the gesture bar you can launch also the gesture and do a gesture to call an application, call a number, or what you want. So, uh, this is the Cyanogen ROM from Desire HD. It's a cool ROM, very fast, very easy. You can also have the control of music in the lock screen, as you can see. It's very easy to control the music. Thanks for watching from hdblog.it and see you soon.